I've done a lot of recipes that are really simple and quick. You can go and look those up um, on uh, my YouTube or on my Facebook page. Um, but this today is going to take a little bit more time. I'm making potato skins. Um, and so uh, to start, again, you're going to have to get up a little bit extra in the morning. It's going to take 90 minutes for the potatoes just to cook. And um, then we're going to hollow them out, um, leaving some, you know, some flesh on the skin and um, and then top them with uh, some cheddar cheese, bake them up again. We're going to um, make some bacon bits and, um, and, and top that as well and, um, and then, like I said, rebake them. So if you've seen my baked potato uh, recipe, it's basically how I'm going to start. I'm going to uh, wash these really well. Uh, I'm going to take some uh, softened butter, mix it up with garlic, and um, and then spread that on uh, the potatoes to make the skin really, really tasty. Do a lot of salt and pepper and cook them. And then I will uh, prep the, the toppings that will come out a little bit later. So let's get to it. Okay, so a little bit more prep going on. Uh, had to get some more bacon. Uh, I decided that two pieces wasn't going to be enough for all these skins. Um, washed off the potatoes, I'm drying them off. I actually opted also to use this um, pre-minced garlic that I um, mashed into the butter. You can barely see it here, but there's tons of it in there. I mean, I literally used uh, spoonfuls. Um, so usually half a teaspoon is enough for one garlic clove, but I have a lot in here. I'm going to take this with my hands. I'm going to spread it all over the potatoes, salt and pepper it, and then put it in these um, you know, prepared little sheets here, wrap it up and get it in the oven for 25 for 90 minutes. So again, just very generous with the butter. I'm going to spread that all around and salt and pepper it. Okay, this is a, you know, super messy recipe. You know, I can't hold my camera and, um, you know, kind of butter these uh, potatoes. I really get in there with my hands. Um, I think it's easier uh, to just kind of get it on there. Anyway, salt, pepper, um, and also make sure you prick the um, potato with a fork. So uh, definitely put a couple of, um, you know, fork skewers in there. I think maybe you can see some right here. So they just kind of pricked it with a fork. And um, I'm going to wrap these up and get them in the oven. All right, there they go. Uh, they're all wrapped up and uh, ready to go. Okay, I grated up about um, a third of this uh, block of cheese and um, produced quite a, quite a lot, over a cup and a half probably. I think they'll be enough. Uh, it ended up with four slices of bacon um, that I cooked and then chopped up for bacon bits. And um, potatoes are still cooking. Okay, here they are. Big potatoes, um, ready to go. And... Um, I forgot to mention, we need some olive oil now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to um, slice these in half. I'm going to scoop out uh, some of the flesh. So I got this bowl here. I'm just going to toss the uh, potato part in there. Um, I'm going to put it back onto a, uh, a lined um, sheet pan. And, uh, and then we're going to brush it with some olive oil. Put some salt on it and then put it back in the oven on broil. So I have taken it out of the oven and I've put the um, oven on broil and that's going to be ready to go by the time I finish working with these. Okay, they're not super pretty, but um, they look really good. Uh, so as you can see, I left like, you know, just a little bit of the, the potato on there. And now I'm just going to brush them with olive oil. And I was working with them, they were really, really hot coming out of that oven, um, but it made it really easy to um, scoop up the pulp. If you wait too long, it just gets, it just gets too hard uh, to scoop up the, the flesh. So. so I'm just gonna oil these up, and then uh, this is with the olive oil. I guess you could drizzle it on as well, but I really like to get a lot of coverage. I've got the broiler on. This guy's a little... It's kind of one of the reasons why I like to cook a lot of these, because you never know what's going to happen. <laughs> they could all turn out like that. Um, but anyway, that they all look uh, pretty good. 
Oh, in the meantime, also, I also uh, went into the uh, refrigerator and got some um, uh, green onion, and I uh, chopped those up as well. And I'm just going to reach over here and grab the salt and just... Okay, and then we're going to put those, um, broil that for about five minutes. Okay, so that's uh, five minutes in the broiler. You can see they're kind of uh, toasted up. And then I'm just going to put um, cheese on. And uh, scallions and then some bacon. Then we're going to put it back in the oven. Uh, the broiler's still on. And we'll just put it on until the cheese melts. Of course, you can put anything you want on there, and then I also serve it with uh, sour cream. This guy's like perfect. A little boat right here. Perfect potato skin. I like serving these with um, mozzarella sticks, um, you know, making them on the weekend, you know, football games, or just watching, you know, watching sports or something. Just try to make it like, uh, like you're in a bar, enjoying appetizers with friends. Uh, it's never enough bacon. Never enough bacon bits. Let's borrow some here. Okay. Okay, there you go. Five minutes under the broiler or, you know, just until the cheese melts. Served it with sour cream and some fruit. And there you go. It's baked potato skins and lunch is served.